Welcome, welcome to the arena. Cheese to everyone! Oh, wait a second, wrong speech. Hi guys, Sintar here, and welcome to the week 4 of best new mods for Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition. And by the way, be sure to check video description attentively, because often even the mod is showcased for original Skyrim, for example, it may also be ported to Special Edition or even Xbox One, and vice versa. Let's go! Day the Clocks We all know Clocks of Skyrim mod, but how about some immersive and absolutely beautiful addition to it? You can use this mod to increase variety of clocks in the game, or just use a standalone, if you have never played with clock mods before. Mod adds clocks for each of 17 Daedric Princes, and one for cities because... Because why not? The textures are great, the symbols are looking fabulous, and what even more great, mod supports HDT physics so clocks will react pretty realistic while you're moving, jumping or fighting. And just imagine how badass your character will look in-game or on screenshots. Want some cozy and beautiful player home? We have some! Welcome to the Breeze Rock Lodge, a small player home just nearby Whiterun Gates, with a great view on Whiterun and Tundra. While being small, it catch up my attention with just amazing amount of details and hand-placed objects. When you enter in this house, you simply want to live in it. Everything is exactly like it should be in place that you call your home. You can see the shoes under the bed, dropped scrolls with some handwriting here and there, and so on and so on. This house is actually giving you the feeling you are living it. Isn't this bag seems familiar to you? Yes, yes, you're right. It is Cow by Shergrad's beat Drogo. He is a warrior follower that you can hire in Bennett Mayor. And I must say that despite of course it is almost impossible to create a character that will look exactly like actor, but this mod actor came close to this as much as possible. He's looking great, he's badass and he's strong. Besides of strong combat skills, he also uses disarm shout on your enemies. What? Does someone say it is impossible that orc follower can be beautiful and attractive? Come on, you just owe me a sweet roll. Just look on her, beautiful and strong at the same time. She is also to habit weapon expert, but I am still unsure, will her enemies die from a sword or from a hard attack seeing such a beautiful orc first time in their life? Whatever. And now just take a look on short combat demonstration with both these guys together. And now let's switch to some immersion. I'm not sure about you guys, but each time I see a good video and related mod, 
I'm rushing to it, shouting shut up and take my money. Really, the Vigilant storyline in Vanilla Skyrim was… well, there was no Vigilant storyline at all. That's why I'm just in love with Vigilant mods and this one is simple and just great. Remember attack on the hull of the Vigilant that occurs when you start Dungard DLC. There are a lot of corpses there, but no actual evidence that Keeper Cassette, local Vigilant leader, is actually dead. The mod brings her back to Skyrim, inside the Standard's Beacon. In addition to this, it makes the Standard's Beacon usually ghostly and dead structure to look more alive and really like a Vigilant base. It adds NPCs, Vigilant merchants, some crafting clutter, and even a cute husky. In addition to this, in the next updates, Mod Outer will even bring some quests there so mod became even more immersive. Disciple of Molag Bal. This one is little but absolutely masterpiece out there mod. It replaces all vampire lord sounds making them more demonic, scary and absolutely terrific. Just plug your headphones and listen. I have kept mine in this form. You right hand. With your left hand you can to raise the day. You need to feel One of the biggest problems for modern Skyrim Special Edition combat is finally solved. While some essential combat mods like Combat Evolved or Wildcat are already ported to Special Edition, there still was no really good working dodge mod like TK Dodge in original Skyrim. Problem fixed. The ultimate dodge mod offers you simple and realistic dodge in all four directions. That may and will be a great addition to your combat surviving abilities, and just simply making combat much more challenging and fun. Hmm, where am I? Smells tasty. Welcome the candy shops of Skyrim mod. Little and funny, it adds 4 candy shops to the game, near Whiterun, Windhelm, Solitude and inside Riften Canals. In the shops you can buy more than 10 different sweeties, chocolates, candies, macarons, cupcakes and so on. Each candy give you a little boost to different stats, magicka, stamina, health, regeneration and so on. The buffs are really minor and short term so it will not break the game balance at all. Better Vampire NPCs Vampires in Skyrim are usually predictable and pretty weak. This mod will add much more variety to your game and make vampires more challenging and more variety. Vampires in this mod will spawn according to your level, have different spells, and predictable AIs, skills, variety armor according to their class and level, and even special weapons you haven't seen before. But instead of many words, just look at short demonstration of combat with vampires affected by this mod. I will summon one and then two master vampires. In a newer game, they could be easily wiped by a couple of generic vigilants. And in this fight, as you see, even one vampire is a real problem. And when there are two of them, well, Isran is having hard times. World of Warcraft Weapons of Skyrim This one is definitely not low friendly but it's just a so nice nostalgia that I could not leave it outside. World of Warcraft Weapons of Skyrim adds more than 15 different WoW weapons to Skyrim, so if you want your Dolokin to have some glory of Azeroth, 
Well, download this bundle and enjoy! That's all for now folks, write your own thoughts about new mods, leave some suggestions and support the channel by your subscribe if this video was useful for you. Also, be sure to enable channel notifications to not miss the new episodes. Stay tuned, thank you for your support and see you next Sunday!